Hey, this is Dave, and as many of you know, I will be hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2024. And in doing so, I want to stay the course of using a carnivore diet to one, lose weight, to uh, get prepared for the Appalachian Trail, but also to try to stick to a carnivore diet while on the trail. So because of that, in this episode, I am going to dehydrate six types of uh, meat into jerky. The meats that we're going to use are shrimp, wild-caught shrimp. We're going to use uh, salmon, a <laughs> deli turkey cut very thick and not questioned by the, uh, the deli manager. Then we're going to have some pork, chicken, and my old standby eye of round for some beef jerky. The first one I'm going to do is the shrimp. I'm going to cook that up and then I will season it. Here's the shrimp that I'm going to be using. It is a wild caught gulf shrimp and it is peeled and deveined. So now I'm going to transfer the shrimp to the dehydrating tray. Now that I have the shrimp done, I am going to turn my attention to the salmon. And with the salmon, I'm going to cut it at kind of angular cuts so I can get as wide of a jerky as possible without losing too much of the integrity of the fish. Now I am going to be transferring this to their own tray. And as you can see, I did the best I could. The meat was rather kind of soft because it would had warmed up quite a bit. And I don't know about you, but I'm pretty liberal with the salt and pepper. And for, for anybody who's concerned about my blood pressure, it uh, is typically under 120 and under 80 for diastolic. And now I'm going to set these aside. Let me get the turkey out of the way. There's our second tray. So I have taken off my gloves. I'm going to attach the, um, the clamps. And fortunately, I have an island that I made that has a clampable edge. So, and I've done this quite a few times, so that is how it goes. And then I'll put my gloves back on, and then I will feed the meat through here, slice it, and place it on the tray. Then I'll place it over the... Uh, <clears throat> the white cutting board and so like magic I have my gloves on now I will feed the meat and again these are going to be pretty thin slices and just feed it right down there Boop. and we're going to just throw these over here for now So I'm going to season the chicken. Uh, so this chicken is now seasoned. I will move it over, get my beef out of the way, move it over here. And the next, so that's just salt and pepper on that. I will do the pork chop, or not pork chop, but the, the pork. Hopefully this isn't too uh, soft. So the first thing I'm going to do with the uh, the pork is to slice off the extra fat, which should be a lot easier than taking it off of the chicken. Chicken did not 
make me happy. And again, disclaimer to all the chefs out there, doing my best. <laughs> so I'm going to cut off this extra fat. And I'm sure I could do a better job. Oop. But there's one slice. Try not to get too much of the salt and pepper on it before I um, put it through the slicer. So, put this through the slicer and hopefully this will work better than the chicken. Whoop. Yep, that was easy. And that was easy. So I will now put this on the tray and then I will season it and have that one ready. The fifth one that I'm going to do is turkey. Um, at the beginning of the video, I showed some pictures of this turkey, and unfortunately, I ate half of it. <laughs> so, fortunately for me, I uh, don't want too much of the spices on right yet, but I am going to slice it here. So, I'm going to just take, yeah, kind of just take it right down the middle. I'm unsure of the grain of this turkey. Um, again, this is just deli turkey, uh, and to make it easier on myself, I'm going to quarter it. Um, but I've made deli turkey in the past, but I used thinner strips, and it didn't work out so well. Um, I am going to put a plate underneath this. Because I don't want this to crumble. Oops. Yeah. It's pretty crumbly. But if I can get it onto the tray for jerky, it'll do just fine. It's got to baby it a little bit. But yes, it's definitely crumbly. It's a much drier meat. Uh, I may be eating this for lunch. I don't know if there's a better way to cut it more against the grain, but I will use most of this in the jerk on the tray of jerky. But it looks like this will. Um, be way too much for their single tray. I might add a second tray, but I still do have the beef uh, to make the beef jerky. But let's get the tray going. I think with the uh, I think with the turkey jerky, it's probably better to use um, some soy sauce or something like that. Uh, I know I don't eat um, the soy sauce, but other people might. I'm going to put these in the best I can, and hopefully they'll stay together during the drying process. Um, and I will add some salt and pepper, but I might add the kosher salt to this um, because it's already crumbly enough. And sometimes I will, well, most of the times I'll kind of more, more or less marinate it in like a salt bath, and that helps to... Uh, you know, give more, give more salt. The salt doesn't fall off during the drying process. But we're just going to put this together now, like so. And then the leftover will become lunch or dinner.
Yeah, I think that's enough for now. Um, because this is the end of this, I put my hand in there, but I'm going to wash everything out after. I'm going to wash, I'm going to wash these. I'll clean out that and all that. So keeping it clean. So right now, before I get started with the eye of round, I am going to put the trays in the dehydrator. And because there's going to be different drying times, I will kind of keep a check on this throughout the uh, the evening. I expect to be done about 11.30 midnight, maybe, maybe a little longer. And some of them will dry out quicker than others, so I'll take them out as, as needed. Um, this is a silicone tray, and I did some, uh, I made some powdered eggs uh, just uh, this morning, and that did really well with this. So as with, you know, all of my videos, anything that I use, I put in a link in the description below for you to purchase if you'd like. The final meat for tonight is the eye of round. Um, so I'm going to cut a chunk of this off. After, actually, I'm going to take kind of a middle piece and then a chunk of that and then put the remainder of this back in the uh, uh, in the fridge. I'll, I'll package it up, put it in the fridge, and then I'll chop it up for dehydrating tomorrow. And I don't know about you, but I really like eye of round for my beef jerky. Um, a lot of people suggest using it. Normally, I would firm this up in the refrigerator. It was in the refrigerator earlier. I just ended up taking it out. Oops. And then spent a lot of time getting it prepared. Um, and I think for tonight, I might just take this, quickly take this fat off. And then I'm going to lose quite a bit of meat. I'm sorry about that. But this meat is already very soft. And I'm afraid of how it's going to go through the slicer. So I'm going to actually cut it this way. This will be my piece that goes in for the dehydrator. We can even cut a second one. And actually the remainder of this, because this is definitely going to be more than one tray. I tried to keep the grain this way so that when I slice it, it's with the grain. I think that's how I'm supposed to do it. I'm sure I'll get a comment or two. I appreciate that to help me out. And uh, yes, that's what I want to do. One, two... grab my plate. Um, normally I would use a plastic bag underneath this, but I think this will suffice. Today, oh, there goes the rest of the turkey. <laughs> there we go. So I will plate this and I will put it on a tray and then I will season it a little bit. And then I'll wash everything off behind the scenes. But I hope you uh, enjoy this video. This is my way of testing and practicing with uh, the dehydrator on six different meats. If this works out well for the next, uh, well, two and a half, three months, I will be creating lots more jerky and other fun goodies for my hike on the Appalachian Trail. If you know of somebody else that's hiking the AT and wants to do some jerky, they can watch this video. Hopefully it'll be helpful that I've provided some other options other than just beef. But that's enough for tonight. 
I will clean this up. I will salt and pepper this, and then we will talk about next steps. Unfortunately, at this point, I lost my audio, but let me keep you up to date. The first thing I did after dehydrating all night, I took them out and then I organized them into plastic bags, which I then sealed in order to place them in the freezer for long-term storage. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe, and as always, happy hiking.